In this set of lectures, I will be teaching C. This is the first lecture. C and its derivatives are the most common programming languages. It is succinct and very efficient. I will teach this on a Linux machine. Linux and Unix are the most common operating systems. I will only teach a little bit of Linux, however, but it will be enough for you to get by. If you are using Linux, this should be all relatively simple. Just make sure you have the C compiler called GCC compiled and installed. Similarly with an Apple computer. If you're using Windows, you can find a C compiler, or if you want to do something that looks very similar to what I'm doing, install Sigwin. That's C-Y-G-W-I-N. Okay, I'll do things at a basic level. I will not use integrative development environments called IDEs. I do this because there are a lot of IDEs that I'd rather focus on the fundamentals that teach you the details of how to use a particular IDE. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is have a terminal window open just like I have right here. Okay, let's make a new directory for our C code, make dir C. We will cd down to that directory, which is change directory down to the C directory. We will look with ls and see that there are no files in here right now. pwd, which means print working directory, will give me the path to that directory. Okay, now that I've created a directory for our code, let's start with our first C program. You will need to have some sort of editor installed in order to create and edit C files, or any files. I use Emacs, but you can use whatever editor you want. Okay. My first piece of code will be put in a file called putcare.c. Okay, I'll emacs that file, which allows it to open up, and then we can start typing. Okay, let's start with this first program. All C programs start execution at a function called main. Don't worry about the open parentheses right now. And we have a curly, open curly bracket, and we will start typing in programming statements. Every single statement that is between these curly brackets gets executed. So we're going to do a very simple one. Uh, it's a very simple function that we call, call put care, say this. What this says is that the function is supposed to display the character t at the standard output. Standard output is, in fact, your terminal window. Okay, so let's do this a few more times. Let's add some more characters. Put care h. Okay, this space. is space e a s y close the curly brackets Okay, we have ourselves a piece of C. I'm going to put this in the background, the editor, with Control Z. Say, put this in the background. Okay, the editor mean is still being used, but I can continue to type at my terminal window. We ls and we see that we have the compiler. I mean, sorry, the program putcar.c. To compile this, we say gcc putcar.c. Do an ls again, and the executable is called a.out. If I say a.out, it says this is easy, which is exactly what we wanted. Notice something interesting, however, is the lack of a carriage return after the word easy. We can provide that very easily by modifying the code. This is notation for the new line. Let me compile again. And we have our carriage return after the word easy. 
there's other ways to actually talk about the space character because we're using ASCII characters which we'll talk about in a later lecture we could actually use the decimal notation for a space which is 32 that's ASCII for space I recompile and we get precisely the same thing again okay we've done a lot in this lecture hopefully you've managed to get your GCC compiler working you have an editor you've typed in your first program you've compiled it and you've executed it the only other thing I want to mention is that if you don't like a dot out as the name of your executable we can change that with a dash o flag to compiler this says I will compile putcar.c but the executable will actually be called putcar which is a little more mnemonic Okay, if I do, do an ls, I can see put car for an executable. If I type that, we get this is easy. Okay, this ends the first lecture.